Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to migrate your streamer data tokens directly from my Ether wallet. It's a bit of a manual process, but it can be done directly from the my Ether wallet interface by calling the upgrade function on the token smart contract. Unfortunately, my Ether wallet doesn't offer a very good user experience here. I have to say, for many users, the easier method will be to simply send your tokens to a MetaMask wallet and then use the migration page on the streamer website. But if you really want to do it directly from my Ether wallet, here's how it can be done. Okay, so I have my, uh, my Ether wallet open here. At the time of making this video, my Ether wallet shows both the old and the new token almost correctly. The old one should be called xData. Uh, but you can tell them apart by the logo. So this is the old one and the orange and white one is the new data token. Also, you're going to need a little bit of ETH in your wallet to pay for gas, meaning the transaction cost. The amount needed will depend on the current gas prices in the Ethereum network. Right now, they are very high. So you might want to wait until the gas price is cheaper to save on the transaction cost. Remember that there's no deadline for doing the migration. You can do it whenever you want. Okay, let's get into it. First, take note how many full data tokens you have. Uh, you'll have to type or paste the amount later in this tutorial. We're going to leave behind any fractions of a token as they aren't worth much and would complicate the tutorial too much. So sorry about that. So just note the amount of full tokens you have, ignoring the point something something you might have. I have here exactly 99 tokens, no fractions. All right, then go to the contract part of the sidebar and select interact with contract. Here to the uh, input field called contract address, we're going to paste in the address of the old uh, data token smart contract. I'm going to include it in the video description so that you can easily find it. And it looks like this. Then in this field, we're going to paste another bit of text, which describes a part of the ABI or the interface of that smart contract. I'll include that as well in the video description. Now I can click on interact and what I should get is a method here says upgrade and then there's one input field here that says value. Now here what I'm going to do first is paste or type the amount of full tokens that I had in my wallet, in my case 99. But now the trick is that this, the unit expected in this field is actually not the full tokens. It's actually the token way, which is the smallest countable unit used in Ethereum smart contracts. So uh, what I have to do here is after I've typed in the amount of full tokens, I have to type in 18 zeros. And so this is the hard part of following this tutorial. I will include in the video description also 18 zeros, so you can just paste them uh, from there. But in, uh, in this case, I'm just gonna type them in. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. Now I have 99 and then 18 zeros. All right, I'm gonna click on the right button over here and I'll get a transaction confirmation window. You can check that the transaction is going to the address that you pasted in, which is the old um, data token smart contract. It starts with 0x, 0c, f, 0, and so on. And we have the transaction fee here. As I said, at the moment, the price is kind of uh, peaking. So I hope it will be lower for you guys. All right, so once the transaction has been mined, you should see the expected amount of the new data tokens in your good old wallet. And you're done. Um, I hope this video was helpful and 
Thanks for being a part of the streamer project. Bye.